everybody. Today um, we're going to do a centre pulled ball. We're going to apply off it. But first, as you can see, it's um, on my bobbin. Um, people ask why we do this. Um, I would like to say it's easy, but then again, what's the difference of filling up two bobbins, setting them up, and plying? That's pretty easy as well. So I, what I've done is I've just um, mixed together a bat, lovely bat, sat down and spun the whole thing. So it's all on one bobbin. So this is my setup, um, just on back of the chair. It seems to actually come off all in the right angle, which is just absolutely great. Now, oh, you never want to go too fast, otherwise this can wind back and... Well, depending how thin or how spun it, it can snap, but... So this is going to go on for some time. Uh, we do have somebody cutting down a tree, so hopefully it's not going to end up being too noisy. But yes, it's going to be interesting. Um, Pretty sure I have done this with 100 gram bats before, but it is going to be interesting to see how well it fits on the ball winder. And like the end of the ball winder is always painful because it's mine seems to slip off the sides, even though I've got a really good one. Now, you may be saying that I'm winding this a bit tight, but the thing is, it's only going to be in this ball for such a short amount of time. And you do want to keep the distance fairly short. Um, some people say they like to do this because they end up with none left over. Um, even when I'm playing with two bobbins, I'll wind it around my hand and um, spin the last of it, so I still end up with um, no leftovers. Whoops, and I've broken it. Right, so what I like to do when this happens is... Um, I like to get some more fibre um, and um, spin it together. Then I get a nice solid join. Join. Um, I'm probably going to be sitting too back for you to see, but um, I'm sure everybody knows how to um, spin a join. So, um, yep, some twist going in there. There we go, I've spun over the top of it. That should be hopefully fine now. Um, since I've just done it, I'm going to be a little bit careful. Um, not let that twist go. Now I've hooked it around the guide. Right, hopefully we're away then. I haven't actually, I could probably take the drive brake band off. And off we go again. Now we are freewheeling with uh, no brake band on. But if it was tight, oh, you know, I would have had to take it off to strike, start with, but I spun with it fairly loose. Got my bottom 
Yeah, it's got an old chair, so I just put my foot on the runner down there. Right, I'm going down to a very narrow part on the bottom. I'm quite happy spinning fairly fine on my overdrive. Doesn't pop me off. Anything like, I suppose, to a uh, full ply. I'm not actually concerned. As you can see, just. One part of the bottom again. And then right back up to the thick part. that you could um, chain or never hope by this. Um, I probably would have put it on for a taut roll if I was going to do that though. This fat has a lot of silk waste in it. Oh, and um, silk and oil. There's a very little amount of wool on it. Um, there was probably a few handfuls of purple, and the rest of the colour is from the silk. I mixed it up with some lovely white polar that Sharon from um, Jumbuck Carding carded up for me. Lovely pole roof from south here. Right, we're starting to get there on the bottom. So, yes, 100 grams, I haven't even filled out the ball winder. But then, actually, I'm not sure if I even weighed the back, so maybe it's only about 80. Right, it's not long now, and here we go. Right, so we don't actually even have to break it off. Now, what I do is um, I put a knitting needle in the middle of it. Um, I have this really lovely one that my mother gave me. But I think today um, I'm going to try it different. I'm going to put a thicker knitting needle in. Now, I really don't like these ones because the stop at the end isn't big enough and all the, if you're knitting with them, all the stitches fall off. But it's probably perfect for this. And yes, it's a lovely tight ball. So put this in the middle and slide it on. Right, we are going to have to find the middle. I did try and tuck it down so that it was easy to find. Okay, here we go, here's the middle. So I put this knitting needle back in. Now I'm going to readjust the camera because um, 
I'm going to see some spinning going on. Um, having the camera up that way was really good for the ball winding. Uh, maybe not as good for the plying. Right, so I'll move the camera down a bit. And over here so you can see. And I took the brake mand off, so we'll have to put that back on. There we go, that's back on. So, right, I need two ends. So. so, I normally just tie it on. Now I've just got to check my tension is how I want it. That's pretty good. Now, maybe I'm going to have to be a little bit further away so that you can actually see what's going on. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to spin off the point of the knitting needle. They don't unravel at the same time. You've just got to play with it. It does take a little bit to get them going, but I seem to get in a rhythm of it, and then I'm away. Oh, I just want to check my ply. That's better. Now this is a textured back that I've just run fine. So yeah, I'm going to have lovely lumps coming up in my. Now that was just a lump of silk. As I say, I've got silk waste in here. But as you can see, having the knitting needle lock in there is going to stop it from um, falling in on itself, getting messed up. Right, I will actually hold it quite far back when I'm doing it, but I was just trying to do it so that you can see it. Again. With a smaller knitting needle, I found it's, it takes me a little bit longer to get, get going, but um, the big one, the, the big knitting needle seems to be great. There you some lovely. Um, Balls of um, silk waste just gone through. Here comes some more. Get a bit fuzzy bit. Just love that. So yes, I, I've already spun some, um, course spun some um, yarn of this to go with it. Um, I've also got um, some lock spun that I've already done that's going with it. first started doing this I used to put my finger through the hole and yeah, yeah it sort of works but um, you can't go and break <laughs> with a knitting needle I can just um, stop when I like yeah. 
you might spill your so to be on a bit of an uneven surface, but it's okay. It's a lovely big hunt as well. Oh, yummies. Another one. I haven't actually tried going like this. Actually, I don't like that. Right, well, I think you guys have got the idea of that. I would have liked to have um, filmed it when it was uh, nearly empty. But um, if I do that, I think this is going to be a very long video. I suppose I could come back after this. Okay, see you later.